Huh? You're still alive? You scared me. You were covered in blood. Just my luck. I wait for them to move the boxes, finally get into the elevator, and then an earthquake. I don't know which floor the elevator dropped to. When I got out, I saw you floating there. Let me tell you, pulling you out wasn't easy. Huh? Where's Anarchy and the others? Why aren't you together? Oh, I see. Your trip sure was eventful. My luck doesn't seem so bad anymore. Oh, we're still inside Minamoto Heavy Industries. Let's get out of this place, then we can talk. I don't really know my way around here, but a GPS app popped up on my phone, and I followed it to you. We could use the GPS to get out of here. What do you think? <laughs> no, it just popped up on my phone. I don't know where it came from. Let's go, let's go, follow me. Ah, ah, here we are. This is where the GPS is leading us to. Sukiyomi Kinshio. Sounds like some geeky anime term. I wonder. Uh, why don't you go ahead and take the lead? What is this place? Why are there death servitors? I can't believe that stupid GPS led us here. I knew that little devil couldn't be trusted. Let's get out, quick! What's going on? I can't open this door. It wasn't locked when we came in. Now I understand. It's that little devil. <sighs> he didn't want to help us get out of this place. He wanted to lead us right here. I don't have any choice but to trust him again. Even though he screws me every time, since the deal isn't done yet, he can't do anything too terrible. Let's be cautious and try to find out what's in here. We've met before. Don't you remember me? My name... My name is... Sakura Lu. That one over there is my classmate. By the way, this... This little yellow duck? Miss Harry. Death servitors! Let's... Let's go! You really don't like them, do you? Who would like something like that? They want to eat me! Don't tell me you like them! I don't care either way. If Sakura doesn't like them, let's kill them. Horrible. Isn't this Hydra's ultimate weapon? How could we come across it here? If Anakin Senpai were here, they'd be real excited, but right now it's only you and me, and she wants us to wait for her. Hey, how about we just leave her here and run for our lives? Would it work? Oh man. We'll have to face her then? Let's go see what she wants us to do. Huh? What? Where to? Death servitors everywhere! That's Tokyo Tower. You can go right up to the top. 
there's no better view of the city. Have some hot coffee. It beats those citrus drinks by a mile on a day like this. Phone a survivor! Boss, I got him. Fine. Well done. I am Chise Gen. Please settle down, everyone. The lockdown will soon be lifted. Those of you who are leaving just now, the next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Hey, sayonara. <sighs> we actually made it out. I guess Hydra must be in total disarray since I stole the princess away from them. They'll be on our tracks by now. We should go find a place to lie low. I'll take that as a yes. This way, come. Princess, why have you stopped? You'll get used to it. There are so many things you haven't seen. But unless you get moving, they'll catch you, and that will be it. What are you doing? You can't run a red light! You know, this is where I work. I can bring you there next time. You are a spoilt mafia princess, so of course you don't have to work. But I have to help out around the stage every day in order to earn a living. Must be nice to have so much money. Anyway, this is where I usually am. They should be gone now. Looks like the princess is really important to Hydra. We need to find a place to hide. Otherwise, sooner or later they'll find us. Would it kill you to have some half-decent taste? How can you actually like flashy, bling-bling places like this one? That place is crawling with death servitors, just like the ones earlier. Your brother's there. Hotel 69. Uh, well, at least it's a hotel, I guess. Welcome to Hotel 69. Your girlfriend is a real stunner, sir. We only have one room left, third floor. Take the elevator, please. Hey, stop that. She's not... I mean, Princess, we have three people here. Phew. That sure is a relief. They actually prepared three beds for us. It looks like nobody's sleeping in the bathroom tonight. That's not you. There's only one area in this world. When you think about it, that's kind of lonely. Uh, it's raining heavily. Don't look! She's really into taking showers. But how could a Japanese girl know the classic moves gorgeous girls use to turn down losers? I can't believe I heard, I'm gonna take a shower, and just automatically thought of that. But Nono never told me that she'd go and take a shower. She would just say, look at you. I never thought that I would fall for Nono. And I don't know if I'll ever fall for anyone else ever again. Finger said that love is a present tense kind of thing. If you can fall in love with two different people, then more will follow. But I'll never forget Nono, and I don't want to fall for anyone else. I don't want what we had to turn into a mere memory. Why am I telling you all this? 
You should go to Takamagahara and talk things over with Anaki and Senpai. Genchief's blade was too sharp last time. I owe you an introduction. It must be fate to give us a second chance. Allow me to introduce myself. Ruri Kazama, Lord of the Devil Clan. Chise Gen happens to be my older brother. Your interest in me is not as big as my interest in you. <laughs> anyway, we should solve the most pressing problem first. Excuse me, is this Takamagahara Bar? This is Ruri Kazama. Sorry to trouble you. Master Kazama? Takamagahara is truly honored by your presence. Huh. I've heard so much about Whale Senpai. Please, go easy for my sake. I, I've been to the same bar you went to in Osaka! Can, can I give you a hug? No, thank you very much. I'm nothing but a visiting guest. May I extend an invitation to be a guest at my Kabuki performance? And if it suits you, I will fulfill your wish then. I... I'll be there! Is there anything that Master Ruri Kazama wishes to be done? Ukyo, Sakura, Misara King. Your names have been spread far and wide, and I've always wanted to meet you. Dear old friends, it's always nice to meet them. Indeed, we've shared many beautiful moments. I'm here to invite you to my Kabuki performance tomorrow night. It would be nice to welcome you there. I'm Chime Gen, second son of the Gen clan. Chisei Gen is my older brother. I'd love to see you on the stage. The invitation bears the Devil Clan's emblem on it. Not to mention that it was delivered by their number two. I wonder what's going on. Either way, since he had the balls to visit us by himself, we should return the favor. By the way, how are things going with you and Luminous? Also, have you met Ruri Kazama before? So, Luminous has managed to get a heavily guarded monster out of there. She has a high-level extra skill, but also suffers from a severe cognitive impairment. Ariu Asugi has met Luminous only once, and now she's willing to run away with him? Doesn't this sound fishy? As someone coming into contact with the outside world for the first time, it's essential she's accompanied by someone she has absolute trust in. Luminous. Go figure. It might have something to do with her mental instability. Hydra has imprisoned her inside an old house, probably in fear of her losing it. The only thing keeping her from going berserk is probably Luminous. She trusts him, but that in itself is odd enough. If she's in danger of losing control, it means she's either at the blood threshold or even past it. She's even more powerful than Chisei Gen! The only explanation is that the chief of the Uesugi clan is an outlier. The opposite of the Emperor is a mentally and physically unstable monster. That's Hydra's secret weapon? Our biggest problem right now is what to do with the secret weapon. She's with Luminous, so I'll have him keep a watchful eye on her. Just because she trusts Luminous for no reason? I don't know why she is so attached to Luminous. But since she seems to be stable when she's with him, for the time being we can rest easy. Go back, and tell Luminous to make sure Eri Uesugi stays put. We meet again. I'm Maya Sakatoku, and this is Enshi Su. We are the owners of this club. In other words, we are the ones who saved you and Caesar's team. And now, it's time for you to return the favor. Don't worry, I'm a reasonable woman. I need you to make sure Luminous and Eri Uesugi fall in love. You have seven days. At the end of the seventh day, there will be a wedding. The boss has decided. Nobody can question this decision. 
and that includes the boss's old friends. Long legs, you're going to scare him off. <laughs> Come, meet our brains. You are all here because you are amongst the best in your respective fields. I'm glad you accepted our invitation to join the production team of this reality show. As you all know, we will be following the budding romance between two everyday people. To ensure their love is genuine, our two subjects have had their memories erased. Your job will be to interact and give advice to the couple and help steer their perfect romance. This is a friend of our Prince Charming. He'll be working with us on the front line. Now it's your turn to introduce yourselves. Shunji Kumagaya, personal stylist. Uh, Ryoji Suzuki, relationship counselor. Yui Makuma, model. Kenji Takamiya, currently unemployed, just getting by. We've only got seven days. This means they will need to fall in love within six days. Their wedding will be held at the end of the seventh day, at dusk. We still have some time before we start working. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> 